Welcome to a guide to every deck in modern. Today we're looking at Esper Gorios. Esper Gorios is a hybrid mid-range reanimator deck that uses a combination of looting spells and Gorios Vengeance to cheat powerful legendary creatures into play. The deck's plan is to use Evoke Elemental's Grief and Solitude to stabilize the early game, which are especially great if blinked with Ephemerate, then use a looting spell like Faithful Mending or Tainted Indulgence to bin a Traxa or Gristlebrand, and finally reanimate one of them with Gorios Vengeance. The deck has been around for a while but has never really taken off, that is, until now, since Atraxa Grand Unifier gives the deck new life. Atraxa is simply a great creature to cheat out and is usually even better than Gristlebrand. Gristlebrand is great in more combo-focused decks that use fast mana, decks like Neobrand or Grishlebrand that are trying to win the same turn it hits the field. This is also why Gristlebrand is better in Legacy than it is in Modern, since there, fast mana cards like Lotus Petal and Dark Ritual exist. Espergorios is much more of a mid-range value deck and thus wants Atraxa more since her ability doesn't cost life and works better with Ephemerate-style blink effects. She'll usually draw around 4 cards, but can draw more. She also pitches to Grief, Solitude, and Force of Negation out of the sideboard. Espergorios is of course weak to Graveyard Hate, the main opposition to such decks. Graveyard Hate comes in many forms, so it's important to know which ones your opponent is playing and sideboard accordingly. For example, if their Graveyard Hate is made of artifacts like Relic of Progenitus, board in Stony Silence. Tips and Tricks Since exiling the creature to Gorio's Vengeance or Footsteps of the Gorio happens as an end step trigger, you can reanimate in your opponent's end step and keep the creature around until your end step. Since exiling the creature to Gorio is a trigger, if you blink it with Ephemerate it becomes a new object and won't exile. Gorio's Vengeance only brings back legendary creatures, so it can't return Grief or Solitude, but the same isn't true for Footsteps of the Gorio, which returns anything. Tainted Indulgence doesn't discard a card if you have cards with 5 different mana values in your graveyard. This is usually beneficial, but not if you want to bin a reanimation target. Later in the game, you should hold on to excess lands instead of playing them since you want discard fodder for Faithful Mending. Like Rakdos Scam, you can sometimes win the game off Ephemerating Grief on turn 1, but you'll probably still need more pressure to back it up. I hope you've enjoyed this look at Esper Gorios. Thank you to my supporters, and if you enjoy these videos, consider supporting the channel, and take care.